University Exploration is a very unique program because it does allow students to come to RIT as an undecided or undeclared major. So you don't have to know what you want to do at RIT and you can join our program and we will help you figure it out. So it really allows students to start at RIT, learn a little bit about themselves, learn a little about the programs that we have here. We have over a hundred undergraduate majors here. I don't know how any of you would know what you want to do right from the get-go, and I have your parents tell me that all the time. But if you, if you do know what you want to do, by all means do it. But if you're not sure and you want to really take some time to explore, that's what our program is designed to do. You know, I think there's a lot of pressure on students to know what you want to do for the rest of your life. And I think that's a lot of pressure on 17, 18 year olds to, to know everything that they want to accomplish. You know, it's okay to be a little undecided about what you want. I think the thing is, is every student is unique and how they craft that education. In RIT, we have a, a, a plenty of options and plenty of ways that students can make that experience their own. Our students are able to explore all majors on campus. There's nothing off the table. Um, they can look at any of the 100 plus majors in the nine colleges at RIT. The program basically helps you look at all the different options uh, for you to decide what your major is. And honestly, I was all over the place. I uh, had art, business, engineering. So we went ahead and decided to take a little bit of everything which would not only satisfy my general elective courses, but allows me to get a feel of what it's like to be in those departments. And after careful evaluation, talking with advisors, talking with different uh, deans of engineering and uh, chemical engineering, arts departments, asking them questions allowed me to evaluate my passion, my skills, and what I could do essentially for a good chunk of my life. And with that, uh, I was able to decide with mechanical engineering, and Miss Marty was very generous to provide me all kind of support to decide on that major. We really personalize the advising. I think if, if I had to give you one thing that's really important about us, it's our academic advising. We will really get to know you as a person, and we learn about your interests, your goals, your personality, all of the things that make you you to help guide you toward that major that you will want to find um, at the end of the day. They help you to discover a bit of everything from different departments. As long as you tell them what you're interested in and where your talent is, they will give you an opportunity to taste it, to see what you, how you'll do there. They want to make sure that you are just healthy in general, not only with what you do in the academic side, but what happens in your personal life. Are you hanging out with friends in college? Because after all, you are going into college and um, you don't want to just be focused on homework, projects, co-ops, internships. You want to make sure that you are living your life as a student. This experience only is happens once in your life and you want to make sure you take a full opportunity of it. It's about exploring not only yourself, your passion, your major. It's exploring who you are and where you want to be. In the first semester when they come in University Exploration, they also take a career exploration seminar class, which is going to let the student kind of dig deeper into what, they, what they're about, what are their values, what are their interests, what are their personality, uh, and how do they take skills that they have and apply that to a potential career. So that class is a lot about self-reflection, learning more about who you are as a student, and uh, what, what major ultimately you want to take those skills and apply to your future career. It's more or less making you feel um, that you're taking your time to realize where your true passion lies and where you can uh, show your true sense of who you are in that field. And we do include the career counseling component and the career outlook advising, um, which also is very unique. So that the students get a nice combination of academic advising and career counseling. So that makes us a little different than many other programs. We know that students, when they leave university exploration, they have taken time to do self-reflection. They've taken time to talk to different people in different career fields to learn more about what they do. And to then reflect on, okay, is that something that I'm really interested in? Because I'm a strong believer that all of the other stuff that comes with, that comes with this time at, in college is so important. You learn about yourself, you learn how to communicate to people. You know, all of these kind of, as they say, soft skills or transferable skills are just gonna 
they're gonna go a long way. A very common thing students will ask me is, am I going to get behind? What's gonna happen with my schedule? But our students are graduating pretty close to the same on-time rates as everyone else. And when we build your schedules, we intentionally build classes that meet the degree requirements on campus, along with your interest areas. So we start our advising relationship with you very, very early. As soon as you pay that deposit, we're going to send you a survey, we're going to give you a phone call, and we'll start the communication right away. Those conversations that we have with you really will help with that being on time, because if you're interested in a major, like computer science, we're going to be getting you into those classes. Um, that way, you know, if you choose that track, then you're going to be pretty clearly on the way to that program. But there's also transferability within those classes as well. Each department really wants to work with students. So I think the longer you extend your time of, of in being unsure, that can increase the time to graduation. And that's why I really we stick to that goal of having it happen within one year. Um, you know, because we want to make sure that you're in a place to graduate on time. Another part of what we have is the exploration house, uh, where students can live on a floor with other students that are going through university exploration. So it gives you an opportunity to, you know, be around other students that are a little unsure on what they want to do. And that's, that's an okay place to be. And using the resources between the advising, the career class, and just the, you know, the high touch environment that we provide really gives students a place to, to, to figure that out and feel comfortable where they are. When I was going through, you know, all the thoughts in my head, like where I want to be, what I want to become, what is the right choice for me, at that time I realized that I'm probably not the only one person who is going through all of this. There's definitely people who've been in this situation who had similar questions as me. and. Thankfully, University Exploration has a program called Ambassador Program where people who've graduated from the program and who are already in the major that they like, you can contact those people and uh, see what their experience was like. Why did they decide to be on that? And knowing that there are other students who are in a similar boat as me uh, make me feel less alone. It made me kind of realize that, you know, people have gone through this. There is an answer in the end. We're gonna give you those additional resources that you need to figure out and ultimately finding a great place at RIT to get your education because the value in all of our programs is so great no matter where you land.